Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Blind Beast from 1969. It's directed by Yasuzo Masamura and stars Aiji Funakoshi and Mako Midori. I used to own this movie on regular DVD and it was, at that time, the rarest DVD in my collection before Arrow Video ruined everything and released it on Blu-ray, which is the version I own now. I'm just kidding, Arrow Video. I am stoked that this film is on Blu-ray now with some special features to it. Wow. I gotta first say I am slightly shocked I was able to find enough safe pictures from this movie that I could include in this video. Shocked, I say. And if you've seen the film, you might agree with me that there aren't a lot of non-NSFW moments in the film. That's not to say it's nothing but nudity and sensuality, but 85% of the film takes place in a sculpture studio which has a very large sculpture of a nude woman on her back and the walls are full of other sculptures of other body parts, if you know what I mean. Blind Beast is about a model kidnapped by a blind sculptor and his mother in order to sculpt her whether she wants him to or not. I should probably mention that even though things do get consensual at a point in the movie, they certainly don't start out that way so individuals who are triggered by SA might want to steer clear of this film. Actually, with where the film ends up, anyone that isn't okay with sensual violence of even the consensual variety should find this film as a non-starter. I find this film endlessly fascinating, and I think it's because I discovered it during a severe manic episode, and every viewing of it since I watch it through that lens. It's certainly interesting, and that's all I'll say. If you think you can see it, though, be prepared to be taken to some very weird places. I think I mostly just love how a film from 1969 can be this damn forward and not be censored. I don't know. It's strange because usually outward forms of sensuality make me roll my eyes, but something about this film keeps me watching. I don't know. I think it's all linked to that night I first saw it in an extremely manic episode that is to blame, although I watch it now and I'm still impressed with it, so maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the broken one? Anyway, this is definitely not the film you want to watch with your parents, but if you're manic enough, you'll try to explain the plot to them the next morning like I did. I'd love to hear what other people think of this film, because as for me, it's an A- minus for its audacity. Tomorrow, we take a journey with the songs of Bruce Springsteen, as next up is the recent film, Blinded by the Light. See y'all then.